I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create simple infographic elements in PowerPoint. Before we get started with this video tutorial, let's look and see what it is that we're going to create. I'm going to show you how you can create these little PayPal icons like this, how you can create a set of teardrop icons with drop shadows, and then how to create these sort of pie charts. And we're going to do all of this inside PowerPoint. To create these icons, we're going to start with the person icon. So I'm just selecting a rounded rectangle and I'm just dragging out a rounded rectangle for, for the body. And now I can control drag away rounded rectangles for the other parts of the person. And what I want is some legs here. So I'm just going to control drag the legs in place. Now I think that I want the body to be a little bit thinner than this actually. And let's move the legs in so there's less of a gap there. I'm going to drag a leg away here to make the arm and I'm just going to put it in position here, make it a little bit thinner. And then I'm going to duplicate that to make the arm on the other side. And I'm just looking for everything to be placed pretty well. I don't want any outline on these right now, so let's go to the Drawing Tools Format tab and let's turn the outline off so we can just see how they're looking. And I think the arms need to be a little bit closer at this point. Now I'm going to add some rounded bits to the feet, so let's just zoom in a bit so that we can see the feet more clearly. I'm going to add circles to the feet, so I'm just going to start dragging out here, holding the Shift key to drag a circle shape so that the feet are going to have rounded bits on the bottom. Again, no outline here so that we're consistent across all these shapes. And once I've got one foot in place, I'm just going to control drag a second foot out of the way so we've got nice rounded shapes there. For the shoulders, I'm going to use this shape here. It's a flowchart shape and it's from the flowchart selection here and it's it's a delay but it's sort of this rounded shoulder look that I want so I'm just going to draw that out. Now it's the wrong way around so I'm just going to rotate it holding the shift key as I rotate to rotate it in proportion and so that it just rotates the fixed amount. Again no outline here. Let's start putting it in place. Now it's way too tall we're just going to move that here and just size it across here to make the shoulders of our person. And let's put the head in place for now so we can just see how it's going to look. Again, no outline. And let's just zoom out to see how it's looking. So I'm going to drag two heads because I need them for later on. But right now I'm going to just put the body together. So I'm going to select over all of these shapes and choose Merge Shapes Union and that will just give me one body piece. Now I'm going to place the head in position. What I want to do is to actually cut out around the head. So I'm going to select both these shapes and go to Drawing Tools Format tab Merge Shapes. I'm just going to look at Subtract because that's going to give me the body without the head. Now this is going to depend a little bit on which shape you select first. If you select the wrong shape first, then the effect of the subtract command is going to be different. So you want to select the body and then the head, and then the subtract command works exactly as you want it to. Now I've got the second head here, and I'm just going to size that down a little bit so that it sits in here with a little bit of white around it. So there's my basic person. I'm going to select over all the shapes and group it together so that it's going to travel as a single object. And of course we can now recolor it using the coloring options here. We can add edges to it or not as we wish. But it's easier to work with it without edges when you first create it and then add the edges to it later on if you want them. So let's have a look at our teardrop shape. Now the teardrop shape is a little difficult to create and you might think that this teardrop is the way to go. In actual fact it's not as good as it might be. So I'm using the heart shape to make a teardrop. So I'm just going to drag out the kind of teardrop shape that I want. And I'm going to select it, Drawing Tools Format tab and go to the Edit Shape Edit Points option. This allows me to 
have a look at this point. And this heart shape only has two points. It's this one and this one. So I'm just going to grab this one and I'm going to adjust the point. So I'm going to drag around this handle and I want the handle to come out here pretty much in a straight line because that's going to make the top of my teardrop. And here I'm looking for the same effect here. The handle to be out about the same amount on the other side. And now if I drag it up, Here's my teardrop shape and it's just a slightly better teardrop shape than the actual drawn teardrop shape that comes with PowerPoint. So once we've got our teardrop shape, we can make it a little skinnier if we want to. Let's have a look and see how we do it shadow. For the shadow, we're going to drag out a circle. So I'm just going to come up here and drag out my circle shape here directly below the teardrop and I'm going to shape effects and I'm going to soft edges because I want the edges of this to be very very soft and probably for this it needs to be about 10 points soft. I've got the same blue color. I'm just going to size this. You'll find that as you size it it sort of half disappears so you want to make sure that you're getting the color that you want in the place that you want. So I'm just going to grab both these shapes and I'm going to align them with their centers aligned. Having done that, we can just grab them and create additional pairs. Yeah, I've lost the alignment on these, so I'm just going to grab these shapes and align their tops and grab these shapes and align their tops and then everything should look pretty good. Now. I'm just using the spacing indicators in PowerPoint to line everything up. I'm going to add a different color to this and for this one I'm going to the shape fill and I'm going to select a darker version of the fill color. So I'm going to create a green one here and here I'm going to make the shape fill the dark green color. So we've got shapes, uh, teardrop shapes with little drop shadows that match the teardrop shape as far as color is concerned. Let's have a look now at our chart and we're going to choose this object here which is a pie object and you'll find it in the shapes collection. It is in the basic shapes area here as a pie. So I'm just going to drag it out holding the shift key so it's constrained so that it is basically a circle with a piece lopped out of it. And I'm going to Drawing Tools Format tab. I'm just going to set this to a known height. So I'm actually going to do 2.5. So I'm going to height and width 2.5. Now this is because I want to create a circle that is exactly the same size. So I'm going to go to the oval. I'm going to drag out a circle. And with the Drawing Tools Format tab over here, I'm going to set this to the same 2.5. And that means this circle is going to be placed or will fit perfectly over this chart. So I'm going to take the circle here and I'm going to make the shape outline, the weight, really quite thick because I want this to be the outside edge of our pie chart. So I'm going to make it six points. But I'm going to make its fill no fill so that we can see through the outer edge to what's in here. And in here, I want the shape outline to be no outline. So we want a really clean little pie chart. Now I'm thinking my line weight here on the outside shape is not enough. So let's just go back to shape outline and let's go and create more lines and choose a bigger line weight. So here's our width. I want this to be really quite a hefty line. And let's make this green while we're at it so that we get a different sort of color here. So here's our basic chart and I'm going to select over both of these objects. I want to make sure I select over both and I'm going to group them together. So I'm going to go group, group and now they'll travel as one. So when I drag on it, it's going as a single object. So I'm going to control drag two more of these away. I'm just going to select each of them and let's align them nicely. 
just going to line their tops and we'll choose align distribute horizontally just to make sure they're nicely distributed horizontally. Now one of the things you can do with these is even though they're grouped we can click in here to select the inside pie. So having done that there's a little yellow slider here that allows us now to adjust the inside pie. So we can create shapes here that all look the same but the pie slice is whatever we want it to be because we're actually creating it on the fly. So there's how you can create some basic infographic shapes in PowerPoint using just basic PowerPoint tools. You've learned a little bit about the edit points option and something about layering shapes on top of each other so that you can get the effects that you want. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including many of the Microsoft Office applications such as PowerPoint, Excel and Word.